journalist at Texas State University has been asked to leave the paper after he wrote a column denouncing white people and their DNA as, quote, an abomination. In the column, which was published last week by the University Star, Rudy Martinez said he'd only met a dozen, quote, decent white people in his whole life, and he added this, I hate you because you shouldn't exist. You are both the dominant apparatus on the planet and the void in which all other cultures upon meeting you die. Rudy Martinez has not apologized for his words. We talked to him today, actually. He originally agreed to come on this show and then said he was too afraid because he was being pursued by white supremacists or something. So he's not here, but Colin Pruitt is a student at the Texas State University. He started a petition to defund the University Star newspaper in response to the column that Martinez wrote, and he joins us tonight. Colin, thanks for coming up. Hey, Tucker, thank you for having me So on. here you have a guy calling for genocide of an entire group. Um, tell me in the student newspaper, tell me the response on campus when this shows up in the newspaper box. Well, you know, with the normal student body and parents, it's outrage. Uh, unfortunately, with the university administration and with those on the far left on campus, uh, it was support, uh, which is unfortunate both for our community and uh, and for our country, and I think it's indicative of a larger so, problem that college campuses. It's, well, it is, it is indicative of a couple larger problems, but support, can you be more specific? In what way did they support it? So they basically just defended his right to quote-unquote uh, free speech when we attempted to defund the University Star. Uh, our position with Bobcat Liberty Movement and the conservative coalition that's attempting to defund it is that we believe that our tuition dollars are uh, best spent on things that promote our values, our university's values, and our community's values, and not on white death and uh, these extreme radical leftist points of views that the uh, university administration uh, backs. Well, I think of an extreme radical left point of view as like, I don't know, but, you know, public funding of, or public takeover of factories or something. This is just like Nazi stuff. This is genocide. And in case you think we're overstating, I know you don't, but our, our viewers may, and I'm quoting now, white death will mean liberation for all. That's a direct quote from his piece, and it's filled with quotes like that. And we're not taking them out of context. The guy called for genocide of a group. How could the school defend something like that? Well, the school didn't defend it. Uh, they did fire the writer, uh, but they didn't take enough action. And the reason they didn't take enough action is because the University Star has a history of uh, putting out articles like this, including one that called for, just about a month or two ago, the sterilization of an entire class of people. They also wrote an article called Free Speeches for White People. Wait, the, steril so, the, st the sterilization of whom? Uh, the wealthy. was. They said it was good for the environment if the, uh, the wealthy were uh, sterilized and were not allowed to reproduce, as they put it. And, it's like uh, Kemaru it's just, stuff. So what would happen? What would happen? I mean, let's like stop playing games, kind of for not you, but the sure. you know. Oh, it's got a First Amendment right. If if he had written a column saying, you know, I sincerely believe in genocide for any other racial or ethnic group, would he still be on campus? Wouldn't someone call the cops? I mean, if he called for the killing of people, do you think the administration would say, oh, he's got a First Amendment right? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, and th this goes back to a larger issue, which is that a spineless university administration and uh, Denise M. Trout, the president of the university, is, uh, is willingly and actively engaging in sanctioning uh, hateful rhetoric that comes from the University Star that's not only this article, but a series of articles. And until the, the paper is completely defunded and all of the radical people on the opinions board are fired and disciplined by the university, it's not going to stop. Did the president of the university make the point that genocide of a specific group, or all genocide, for that matter, is bad? Did they, I mean, at least say, you know, we're, we find these views disgusting or anything like that? She said that she found them disgusting, but her actions speak louder than her words. She sent out a two-paragraph email while there's actual riots going on on campus and people are getting hurt at the university because of violent leftist rhetoric and all she can respond with is a, uh, a two paragraph email that and fire only the person uh, that wrote the article not the yeah. opinions editor that sanctioned the article and not not only agrees with the article but is actually crowdfunding for the person who was fired because that person was arrested at a violent protest of Donald Trump's inauguration and she's crowdfunding for his legal fees and she's still employed by the university sanctioned paper yeah it's all falling apart. Colin, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Appreciate you, Tucker.